This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in downtown Oslo, and uh, today we're going to look at uh, wireless charging with uh, Momentum Dynamics. And with me here, I have Gabriel. You work at the Momentum Dynamics. Mm. Yes, that's correct. So I've, I've made the installation that we see here in, in Oslo city center. Uh, and uh, what we see is a, it's a modular system. So all the pads here, it's uh, 75 kilowatts capable of charging. Uh, and then uh, if you would like to increase the power, you can put on the other side on the bus stop, you can put uh, four pads together and you can charge up to 300 kilowatts, for example. So, okay, Gabriel, just, if you can just stand there, just to yes. show you how small the pad is, for, for it's just a human. Yeah, so the size is about uh, uh, 7 800 millimeters by 7 800 millimeters. And uh, in, inside, there's a coil uh, that transfers the power. Uh, we induce um, a current into the coil, and then we have a similar coil under the Jaguar I-Pace that picks up that current uh, through induction. You know, me, just like everyone else, I try to touch this to, to feel if there's any heat, but of course there is no heat here. There, is, uh, there are even screws here, but I guess they are not affected by the, the magnetic field that is being generated here. So, can we also see, um, so this is the charging uh, pad, but there's yeah. also some stuff under there, in, in the shed here, right? Yeah, so we have two pads here, uh, and then they are, they are powered by the cabinet uh, inside here, which uh, can give power up to 150 kilowatts. And I have to say, I think this is also something to do with the, the municipality. They don't want to have cables or any mess here, so they will have everything tidy there and then smooth here. Yeah. Versus actually over there, we have some, some 50 kilowatt fast charger and you can see that there are some cables and some yeah, stuff. I mean, I think it makes a really good comparison uh, between what you see on the ground here compared to what you see over there. So our equipment is uh, this cabinet right here. So we get the power uh, from the grid uh, up to 150 kilowatts. Um, and then we have a, a meter the power distribution in here and then we also have an uh, ac dc converter so we can uh, go up to 800 volt if we need to for like a bus for example and then we have an inverter that takes the uh, 50 hertz ac up to 85 kilohertz ac so that's uh, what we transfer power between the air gap it's 85 kilohertz ac Wow, that's really high frequency. Yes. So this, uh, let me see, uh, what was the, this? This, this, this is box? just uh, the power distribution from the grid. So this has nothing to do with our, uh, our equipment to do. This is powering our station, but also the DC. Okay, uh, so this is more standard equipment. Yeah. This is the, the, the new <laughs> stuff. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and right, in, in addition to these, uh, uh, converters that we have here. We also have a, a, an air conditioning unit here to so oh. take care of the of the heat. So I mean, many many people think that there are so many losses between the air gap, but between the air gap we are more than 99.9 percent .9 efficient. So the losses we get is the same as conductive charging, uh, the DC charges you see over there. It's in the power electronics. That's why we need the AC air because it's so much high power that we need to cool those losses. But it's about the same as we as we will get with the uh, uh, normal conductive charging. Because now we're in the I pace and we're going to drive over the pad and see now. So um, the good feature with iPad is that it has I pace is that it has a, a forward uh, camera. Let me see if we can switch to the forward. There, there, okay. So that makes it extra easy to uh, do this. Otherwise, I guess there must be some kind of guidelines uh, on the ground or somewhere. Yeah, we're actually using the, the front line here. We're using it to the bottom of the screen, but you will also see the pad. Uh -huh. In this view, you will see the pad going under the vehicle. So now you see the pad under the vehicle and we just stop on this line uh, is level with the bottom of the screen right there. And then the we put in P, and then uh, it's a few de second delay on, on this one, but we will see very soon 
that we're charging and now we see here on the screen it's calculating the time when it will be finished and we see now that we're charging almost with uh, 40 kilowatts that was super fast yeah we have a little bit high state of charge 87 percent but it can take 50 kilowatt 52 was the maximum right? yes and uh, this is just uh, IPS uh, software, but uh, this part here is custom. Yeah. Now you see, Ooh. I actually raced the car into uh. off-road mode, and we're charging 54.5 kilowatts. Whoa! At 87%, that's massive. And then if you lower it again. Yeah, then you see. This is just physics. Yeah, and most people think it's, it's the complete opposite. Most people think the closer the paths are, the, the better uh, the efficiency. But it's, it's actually the opposite. Our system is uh, optimized for the buses that you see over there. Uh, so a higher ground clearance with our system is actually preferred. Uh, so we are uh, doing more power when we are a little bit higher than we have in the normal mode. So for us, being in the off-road mode, off mode, I will put it in again, raise the car a few centimeters, and as you see, we will go from 40 to more than 50 kilowatts charging. Wow, can we can we just, now what if happens if you back, back up, uh, yep. go back again? So as soon as I put it in reverse, it will stop charging. And uh, now the charging has stopped already and we will see it here on the screen. So actually when you put it in the reverse, you, you tell the system that it stopped. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. So it won't be charging as you move out of the no. magnetic field. No. But if, if the car by itself would, would move for some reason, um, it's oh. constantly measuring the coupling between the pads. And if there's any difference in the coupling, it will shut off the system. And, and that's also why you have a alignment tolerance zone so you have like plus minus 10 centimeter in all directions and if you're outside that it, it technically won't allow you to charge okay, I but see. In, in in that zone in that alignment zone we can be more than 90 percent efficient okay, okay i want to see it again so if you just go a little bit back and then go forward that was so quick i almost didn't notice how fast the handshake was and then suddenly it was charging Okay, so we backed up a little bit. You see the, the pad there? Okay, let's try again then. So that, this is typically if a taxi driver or actually if we could have this in on, um, on um, uh, street or you're gonna stop lights even. Yeah. yeah. So even if you're waiting for green light for five minutes or just a couple of minutes, yeah. you, you, this, is, this is it. You want to A, B, C, you can do it with this. So now we just stop at the bottom of the line there, put it in the park, and now we're already in the off-road mode. So now it should go up to 50 kilowatts straight away. So within a few seconds, it will just automatically start charging. And as you can see here on the screen, now we're up on 48, and I think it will go up to, now we're up to 51. And if you and me go out of the car, we can try. <laughs> it will go up a little bit more, I think. Okay. So okay. now you see it's 51. Uh, let's see if I can just... 52.7! Yeah. <laughs> Race the car! <laughs> so the higher the better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that means that um, for fat people, you will have a slightly lower charging speed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to check out what it looks like under here. Uh, so Gabriel, can you tell me what's, what's the stuff here? Extra. Yeah, so what we see here in the front, uh, this one and that one, it's uh, called uh, Foreign Object Detection, FOD. So it's uh, thermal cameras that uh, are measuring if there is anything heating up on the pad. Uh, in event of, say, like a Coke can or something that would uh, roll under the pads, uh, they would heat up and the system would shut off immediately before it gets too hot. Uh, or an animal. Yeah, or an animal. I mean, people think a cat will go through and it will fry it like a microwave or something like that. It's, it's not true at all. N nothing will happen. But uh, a metal object, it, it will heat up. So that's why we need to shut, shut off the system as, uh, as soon as possible. But does this mean that uh, the ground clearance has been reduced a bit? Yeah, uh, yeah. in the back you see the, the pad. The pad. Yeah. And <coughs> 
you write in this uh, in this integration the ground clearance is reduced and that's why it's good to have the Jaguar R system that uh, is able to put in different modes so when we drive this car we drive it mostly in the off-road mode ah but you see it's because it hasn't been integrated as a part of the no, car this is a retrofit solution so in the so future it will in be the future way. we need to integrate it from the production with the OEM and then it will be a much better integration and you can use it on all different cars even the low sports car you can you can have it well that was amazing I, I have to admit I was skeptic to wireless charging because of the the, the, the other systems I heard that can charge at seven kilowatt which is almost a joke but this thing here uh, actually if the car was 800 volt base it would take 75 kilowatt yes that's correct that is amazing so maybe we see more of this in the future not only for uh, taxis but maybe buses trucks or maybe even regular cars or even the boats down at Dr. Brygge oh yeah, yeah the boats also yeah <laughs> it makes sense with the water and everything yeah Do not have any uh, moving parts hmm so anyway, uh, thank you so much, Gabriel, for showing me this. No problem. It was My awesome. Pleasure. So I'm going to ask the audience, what do you guys think? Is this going to be the future? Because for me, for many people, they were like, mm, now? I'm not sure. I'm... <laughs> it's look, it looks cool. It was just, for me, it was just, wow. Yeah, what do you guys think? Huh? So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.